So this film is based on Andy Mulligan's novel. Was it, um, when you read it, did it immediately strike you, the cinematic potential? What struck me was it was a story that um, I hadn't ever done before. So it was a sort of a, it's a book for uh, young people. It's about young people. And it felt like an adventure story. And I had never done one of those before. And also it was just such a wonderful challenge because it felt, you know, I had to set it in a country because Andy hadn't, is based on his experience in Brazil, India, and the Philippines, and I had to make my choice about which country to set it in. And so I start off in Brazil because of a friend of mine, Fernando Morales, uh, lives and works there as a film director. Um, and I never left, really. I started working with young people in different uh, communities there. And again, it felt so such an extraordinary challenge to work in a culture that I was not well-versed in, in a language I didn't speak, working with uh, non-professionals, all who come from very challenging backgrounds. Um, just felt such an extraordinary, wonderful journey to go on. And in the end, it was a wonderful journey to go on because of these incredible kids that were at the centre of the film. What was that like, filming in the favelas? I mean... Fabulous. By the time you were there, I suppose a lot of the work that the Brazilians had done in terms of trying to clear them up, make them safer, had, had taken place. Well, uh, <laughs> clear them up, make them safer. The, the process is called pacification, yeah, which is uh, both good and bad. I mean, it's not, a, it, it's not necessarily a great thing, um, as far as the Brazilians are concerned. But actually working in the favelas themselves, because we tended to... Um, want to uh, include the communities as much as we could. In fact, that was the least of our, of our problems, except there was one particular area that we did have a lot of um, uh, shootings in while we were filming, uh, as it were. So uh, we had to stop shoot, uh, filming while uh, the different militias uh, sorted out their own particular fights. I mean, you, you were in Brazil absolutely at the time uh, where it was projecting itself to the world, cleaning itself up for the World Cup. Uh, what... what what did you leave with as an impression of that country? There's a tradition of favela movies where life is very, very hard and then on the whole people die. And what was different to me, again, working with these kids, what felt so amazing was that it, there was a... I mean, this is an adventure story, so this is not a sort of a social um, analysis of, of the lives that these people live. But what the kids have and what the communities had at that time, and I still think, you know, to a large extent still now, was, a, was this hope and faith in their country and ownership of their country, even though uh, in a, apparently they live in very dispossessed and very poor economically and educational neighbourhoods. Um, actually, their communities are incredibly strong and they have this real sense of ownership that it is their country and they want it to change. And that is, uh, that's very touching and very different, I think, to a lot of sort of the more poor areas of, for example, even in London, where people, there's a much more sense of despair and things will never change. And, but in Brazil, there's still a sense of, no, we can do it.